What's up, what's up, what's up? It's the incomparable Poop Diesel and you are watching Rap Sheet Hollywood and today we are in Hollywood with no other than an award-winning singer, actor, performer, and poet, Mr. Daniel Beatty. What's up, brother? What's up, man? How you doing? I'm great, how are you? Man, I'm doing excellent, man. Look at you all over the place in Hollywood doing yeah. big stuff, big shows. Man, talk to the people, man. Tell us, you know, what do you got going on with this emergency? Absolutely. So I moved to LA from New York City about five months ago. And one of my first big things here is to bring back my play, Emergency, uh, to the Geffen Playhouse. And the play is about if a slave ship were to rise in front of the Statue of Liberty in present day New York City. And I play about 43 different characters. Wow, did y'all hear that? 43 different characters. Now, explain how can one go from so many different characters and still just be able to develop and, and bring the uh, energy in all of those characters. How's that happen? Absolutely. I always say that as an actor, as a writer, as an artist in general, your greatest tool is observation. And that means staying open to the world and observing everything. And I don't mean just observing with your mind. I mean observing with your heart and with your soul so that you can really feel and be impressed by things that happen. So these characters come from all of the wonderful things that move me in the world. And because they come and touch me in my heart, I'm able to create characters and give them back to other people. Wow. Wow. Now, I first met you uh, about three years ago in San Diego. You came and you spoke at the uh, it was a mental health of San Diego. They had this father to child graduation. And at that keynote address, you just captivated everybody with just your presence. And you did this thing called uh, Knock Knock. Absolutely. Talk, talk a little bit about that. For, first of all, we got to give you props for being community organizing and being in the community and doing stuff like that. So thank you. And uh, tell us about the world famous Knock Knock, man. So Knock Knock is a poem that actually talks about my life and my childhood growing up. Uh, my father, unfortunately, has battled heroin addiction my entire life and has been in and out of prison 60 times. Uh, so I wrote a poem about it that was on HBO Death Poetry a long time ago at this point, back in 2005. And it's gone viral and on various sites. At one Facebook site, it has like 17 million views. Um, and when I do my keynotes, I talk a lot about the impact of my father not being there, the impact of being a child of an incarcerated parent. Uh, but I always approach things from the idea of transforming pain to power. Like, because difficult things happen, we don't have to be limited by them. They don't have to destroy us. In fact, our deepest pain is sometimes our path to our highest purpose. And our deepest pain can actually give us something that can help heal somebody else. Wow. Man, I mean, you're very inspiring, man. I just want to say continue to keep doing your work. I just want to dig into a little bit of your background, though. So yeah. being from New York um, and then obviously making your way out to L.A., what were some of the things that really kind of were like momentous uh, times in your life? What were some things that kind of shaped where you, where you were going to go? Right, so I actually grew up in Dayton, Ohio, and I moved to New York after grad school, but I lived there a long time, so it's like home to me as gotcha, well. Gotcha. And I would say, you know, my father's incarceration shaped my life a lot. I have an older brother who unfortunately became addicted to crack cocaine, and that was another very uh, formative moment. But beyond those difficult moments, I had some incredible teachers, uh, have an amazing mom, uh, wonderful loving communities that poured into me, that continue to pour into me, even my new community I'm making here out in Hollywood and greater LA. And uh, it's just been that love, that supportive community. People like uh, the legendary actress Ruby D, who transitioned some years back, yes. Sydney Poitier, uh, people have poured into me. And uh, those have been the real formative moments. Well, we want to salute you, brother. Oh, thank, thank you, you very much, Mr. Thank Daniel Vady. And, uh, you know, just keep doing what you're doing, man, because you're inspiring a lot of young people who come from those rough backgrounds yeah. to be able to make it happen. So thank we you. thank you so much. Oh, the, the Geffen. So yes. what does that mean to you, just the fact that, you know, you're able to go to Geffen? That's world famous. Mm -hmm. To be able to take your play, yeah. I mean, what does that mean to you? You know, the Geffen Playhouse is like a home for me. I've done two, like, six-week runs of my plays in the past. And so to come back and for them to say, hey, you're here in Hollywood, would. We want you to share something with the community, let folks know you're here. Um, it feels amazing to be back on stage at the Geffen Playhouse. You guys, make sure y'all go check it out. Man, my man, Daniel Beatty, Beatty, and it's Emergency is the name of the play. Absolutely. Y'all go check that out, man. That's what it is. Rap She Hollywood, and we are signing out.